Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and yes, finally today, the Batman v Superman teaser, you know, like, I don't know, how long was it, 30 second trailer, Te it was really like a very small teaser, came out today, and yeah, it was pretty epic, even though it didn't even show, you know, them fighting, story plots, any other characters, it, it was very good, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to be, you know, sort of breaking down this, you know, as much as I can, this teaser. And I'm going to sort of talk more about what I'm expecting of this movie. So, this starts off where it shows, um, where it shows the date that the trailer is going to be released. So, no guys, the movie is not now coming out on April 20th. Um, that's just the... You know, of next year or whatever, it is coming out. That it, that's the day that um, apparently the full trailer is supposed to come out, or the first full trailer, and that is Monday. There's actually tickets. There, you know, you can get like buy a special ticket or whatever to go see it on Monday in IMAX. So if you had that opportunity, go right ahead and do it Monday. I'm a, an unfortunately, you know, busy. If I had known about this sooner, I probably would have, you know, shuffled my plans around a little bit. But unfortunately, you know, this is how it is. So I'll just be, like, a very good portion of you guys and watch it on the internet when it drops. So it's really exciting. Um, and then after that, we get to see, you know, there's the epic music playing in the background. And we see Superman suit. The Superman suit they'll be using for the movie. Which the color palette has... Brightened up a slight bit since Man of Steel. Um, and I think that was just because, you know, the first Superman suit can't... You know, it's just sort of like how in any movie. Now, you know, look at let's look at um, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, right? The first movie, he did not have the regular same, you know, Spider-Man suit that we all know and love from the comics. He had that, that you know, great Spider-Man suit from the comics that we know and love. In Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, also, look at Daredevil. Daredevil, the TV show. He starts off and he's wearing the original or one of the original like black suits, um, which is just plain black. You know, long sleeve, maybe some sort of like Under Armour-ish kind of shirt, some like black cargo pants or whatever, and he wears like an Iron Fist kind of mask that's all black with no eye holes. That's his first suit. We only get to see his regular suit in the finale of season one, you know, the one, you know, that we know and love. So it seems like the suits are going to be progressing. Batman, on the other hand, seems like he is, well, we already know that he will have been an established superhero sort of vigilante um, in Gotham um, because he's coming out of retirement or something like that, uh, you know, Bruce Wayne. As a superhero, and he puts the suit back on. The Batman suit looks epic. Love it. Looks awesome. Um, and that's pretty much about it. We see Superman suit, and then the screen flashes black, and then we see Batman suit. No one's in the suits. It's just the suit. So yeah, the bat bat suit looks awesome. Um, and you know, at first I wasn't too happy about Ben Affleck playing him, um, but you know now now I can kind of see it. I think it's gonna work. I just feel like it really needs to be brought to the right level. Um, I'm excited to see Wonder Woman appear in this. I'm excited to see Cyborg. I'm excited to see Aquaman's cameo or whatever and the Flash's cameo. Um, that's going to be exciting. I hope we get some... I, I really do hope this leads right into Suicide Squad. Where somehow it sets up Suicide Squad. Like um, Lex Luthor, the Joker, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but it, I hope some big stuff really happens. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Monday it seems like it's going to be a great day. Um, and actually, this trailer, it came out, uh, you know, not when it was supposed to. It came out, like, earlier. La late, late last night. So, from what I, from my understanding. So, um, yeah, really, I think this is going to be one of the greatest superhero films, you know, that sits right alongside the Avengers. And um, I personally think that Captain America Civil War is going to be one of the greatest superhero, film, superhero films too. Um, you know, I don't know which one's going to beat out the other one. 
I think that everyone's already beyond sold. You know, they've re- they're just sold on this idea of Batman v Superman. People are beyond ecstatic for it. Um, and I think people, when they see a trailer for Captain America Civil War, they hear about Captain America Civil War, they're probably thinking, oh, okay, it's just a, you know, Cap- third Captain America. And that's for the majority of the audience. For people like me, or people who have some sort of understanding of the comics, which is probably a good portion of people, they, you know, they, they see Civil they hear Civil War, and like, holy shit, it's Civil War. But for the majority of people, they're like, ah, oh, it's just another uh, Captain America film. So I feel like more people would be more ex- excited to see Batman v Superman. Um, I'm equally excited to see both of them, just because of just what's going on with everything, you know. So it's, it's going to be really great. But my point with this was that I think that Marvel really needs to make, if they want to compete at all with Batman v Superman, you know, they really have to bring their, like, Avengers-level game. And I believe that, you know, the Russo brothers can do that, but I personally think the only way Civil War can really out, or, you know, come to the same level as Batman v Superman is by introducing brand new superheroes. And, um, you know, even if Batman v Superman isn't as great as everyone's expecting it to be, it's still going to be epic to see Batman versus Superman, uh, you know, live action, big movie, part of this big DC Cinematic Universe. Even if it's like Green Lantern bad, which I don't think they're gonna, I don't think it's going to be Green Lantern bad. I don't even think it's going to be bad. I think it's going to be epic and great, one of the best. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this like 22 second trailer, teaser trailer. Um, obviously, it wasn't much. But we're, you know, really, what, I mean, everyone's sort of waiting and been waiting and they really want to see more footage. And if you're disappointed with this teaser or whatever because you just wanted to see more footage, you can't be overly disappointed. Because basically, right now, you know, we're 11 months away from the film. You know, it's, we're, not, we're not begging for Fox, uh, 20th Century Fox, to come out and release a Deadpool teaser or trailer right now, are we? No, because we're basically at the exact same level. We're in, we're going to be seeing uh, Deadpool in 10 months. It's going to—it's coming out in 10 months. You know, so I, don't, I think everyone needs to sit back down their chairs and we'll get a nice full trailer on Monday. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click your like, subscribe, and go ahead and check out our brand new Arrow. Um, Season 3, episode, what was it, 18, I believe? Yeah, or 19, episode 19, Broken Era, which is a really big episode, so go check that out. And also our overall Daredevil finale video, and all about um, the, you know, just a whole recap of the whole season. Also, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, big tra- teaser, or not teaser, but trailer number 2 came out today. That's awesome. Um, I'm only going to do a breakdown of this, of, like, that trailer if that, this video gets, like, you know, 30, 20 to 30 likes, I guess, or comment, or, yeah, likes. Uh, but, you know, I'm probably, that's probably not my radar right now, but you guys, if you're into Star Wars and stuff also, make sure you click that, click that subscribe button because I will be coming to you guys with a bunch of great Star Wars videos very, very shortly. It's just been a little action-packed this week with all this daredevil stuff so yeah i'm Ryder signing off from toys with attitude and keep running guys